the past couple of weeks now, I've been using the Anchor MagGo wireless charging station, a new foldable wireless charger that is one of the first devices on the market to feature Qi 2 compatibility. Now I've been waiting about a year now since the standard was officially unveiled to get my hands on one of these types of devices. And when Anchor reached out and said they wanted to sponsor this video, I definitely took them up on the opportunity. As you can see though, this thing is incredibly small, but don't let the size deceive you because not only does it have a Qi 2 charger here on the top, but it has a standard Qi charger right below that to charge a secondary smartphone or your headphones. And then if you happen to have an Apple Watch, it has an Apple Watch charger built right in there as well. And of course, since this is the Qi 2 standard, it's fully compatible with Apple MagSafe, which means your iPhones and all your other Apple accessories will charge at their original charging speeds with this thing. I'm not exactly sure if this is actually the smallest three-in-one wireless charger ever made. I tried to do a little bit of research on the topic, but it's nearly impossible since there's over 9,000 Qi chargers on the market already. But honestly, it's definitely the smallest one that I've ever seen. Leave it flat on the desk and the Anchor Mag Go foldable three-in-one will act pretty much like any other desktop wireless charger. But with the built-in hinge and the built-in magnets, that allows it to be popped up with any Qi 2 compatible device so that you can use the display of the smartphone and interact with the device as well. Doing that also reveals that secondary wireless charger that I showed off, which can be used for any smartphone, smartwatch, or even earbuds that support wireless charging. And then of course, there's the Apple Watch charger that folds out from underneath the unit. For those who recall, there's been talks about the Qi 2 standard going back about a year now, all the way back to CES 2023. And Anchor actually announced their first devices compatible with the new standards a few months back at IFA in Berlin. And now the Anchor Mag Go wireless wireless charging station and several other products within the Anchor MagGo family have finally made their debut, which means we can finally get these for these smartphones that we've been waiting for for so long. As for the Qi version 2.0 standard, it was developed as a way to unify the Qi standard and Apple's MagSafe, reducing the confusion between the two and giving consumers just a wider range of products that they can use. One of the best features though with Qi 2 is the new magnetic power profile technology, which improves the charging efficiency over the standard Qi charging. This is done with basic improvements to the wireless charging itself, but also with the integration of magnets into the charging devices and also the smartphones as well, which ensures perfect alignment anytime that you place a device on a charger. With the old Qi standard, quite a few devices actually had two to three magnetic coils that were overlapping just to ensure that your device would charge even if it wasn't placed perfectly on the charger. But with Qi 2, that will never happen. The other main benefit of Qi 2 is that it delivers 15 watt wireless charging, which if you haven't checked is double of the 7.5 watt speed that we got with the original Qi standard. Just make sure that you're on the lookout for that Qi 2 logo, this one right here, just to make sure that any new charger that you're picking up is compatible with Qi 2. And since the Qi 2 standard was just recently finalized, that technically means we don't have any Android devices that are compatible with it. But if you do own an iPhone, it is perfectly compatible. Just place it right there on the charger and it'll start charging. It's as simple as that. But if you do wanna use an older Android phone, you definitely can with a little bit of a catch. Since MagSafe has been so popular the last couple of years, a lot of third-party case makers have been making cases for Android devices with magnets built in so that they can perfectly align with Qi 2 chargers. This one right here is for the Galaxy S22 Ultra with magnets built in, as you can see here, allowing it to work perfectly with the Anchor MagGo station, even though this phone is about two and a half years old at this point. Simply place it on and it'll start charging as you can see. And even if you don't want a case that has specific magnets built in, some of these companies also make magnets that you can simply stick onto any case that you already have. As an Android user, I have to say that I'm just personally a little bit disappointed that we still don't have any Qi 2 compatible devices on the Android side. Personally, I was hoping that Google would be the first to do so with the announcement of the Pixel 8 a couple months back, but this phone doesn't have Qi 2 compatibility. And the next Android or the next major Android flagship smartphone to come out is gonna be the Galaxy S24 lineup in January, but there's still no concrete evidence that Samsung's gonna be adopting Qi 2 as of yet. So we might have to wait until Mobile World Congress in February to get our first Android devices with Qi 2 compatibility. 
But let's get back to the Anchor Mago wireless charging stand and talk a little bit about the design here because I think it's a little more interesting than what it appears at first glance. And yes, it does have this adjustable stand feature that allows you to prop it up and see the screen. But if you have a device like the iPhone and flip it into landscape mode, it activates the standby feature, as you can see here, with a variety of different widgets on the home screen with clocks, weather, notifications, and a whole lot more, making the device more usable when it's just sitting on your desk on the stand rather than showing you just that standard lock screen or the home screen with all of your apps. But having that adjustable angle of the dock also means that it's the perfect companion for watching a movie or even a TV show. And that's exactly what I used it for during a three and a half hour train ride between Rome and Venice during our Christmas holiday. I placed the phone on the charger so that it could be fully charged and not have the battery drain and then adjusted it so that I could watch a few episodes of True Detective without needing to hold the phone the entire time. One of the things that I use the charger the most for is actually during video calls, something that I do on a regular basis. Having it used as a stand is absolutely perfect, but I've also used it to record a TikTok video and even a time lapse. So far, I've used the Anchor Maggo foldable three in one on my nightstand, my desk, on an airplane flight to Italy, charging two devices at once, and even on that train ride between Rome and Venice. And I've had a lot of wireless chargers over the years that claimed to be travel friendly, but since they really didn't have a mechanism to lock in the phone, it was never really able to use them like I've used this here. The fact that this is incredibly light and is smaller than Apple's magic mouse means I can easily take this in anywhere that I go, fit it in my pocket or my bag. For me, the Anchor Maggo Foldable 3-in-1 has become something that I use on a daily basis, but I'm also excited to see the full lineup of Anchor Maggo products as well, which include a portable battery, a stylish desk stand that's a little bit larger, more permanent, and then what looks to be a standard charging puck, but has an incredibly long cable so that you can hold the phone while using it when you're sitting at your desk or even if you're just relaxing on your couch. And that's gonna do it. If you have any questions for me, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. But for more details on the Anchor Mag Go Foldable 3-in-1 or any of the other Anchor Mag Go products, check out the link in the video description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.